ACL Nation, Cornhole fans everywhere. Welcome in to another version of yeah. ACL Pro Teams. Let's go. K9 and Jake Brandon here on the booth. We're going to start uh, things off with some Ohio Aviators versus Michigan Marauders. Noah Almanza, Trey Birchfield versus Austin Cameron, Jordan Power. Let's get it. Let's go. I am loving pro teams this year. We got some stacked matchups. We're That's having an absolute fun. blast so far, Jake. I, I got my second wind, if you will. I'm probably going to need a third wind after this. Yeah. Because we still got minor league teams later on today, but ACL pro teams action. It's continuing, man. I'm, I'm just – I'm excited to finally get my first look of the season for ACL pro teams. Oh, yeah, you, haven't, you yeah. haven't seen any yet. No. Dude, Dude, this is I awesome. mean, we got a little taste of it in Ohio, but there was that whole flight cancellation, delayed – I mean, 12-degree weather thing. This is really my first look at uh, pro Austin Cameron. Yeah, well, mine too. Honestly, I haven't seen him in a while. One of the many bright young rookies. Yep, looking at this side over here on the right with uh, Austin Cameron lining up against Trey Birchfield. Good chance for us to talk about our sponsors, Beard Guys. Shout out. Shout out to Beard Guys. And bust you up cornhole. Shout out. Check him out. Bustyouupcornhole.com. Use discount code WVA for 15% off this weekend. Show some love to those that show some love to us. Shout out, Sam, Sam Ship. Yeah. He's a dog. He's a dog. He has a bad taste in sports teams, but uh -oh, he's still a dog. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Calm down now. Calm down now. So, Speaking of bad taste, no Almanza. Plain old sweatpants. Yeah, what, what the heck? I mean, he's he's got something crazy on his head, but yeah, not the same. You gotta match that with the bottom man. That's my that's one of my favorite things about going to opens is is just seeing what Almanza wears. <laughs> right. Personally. I again do not so know how he's wearing just the slides with this rubber pebble turf going on. Right. It's got to be annoying. There's a graphic on your screen. Shout out Corey Russell. First matchup of the day between Michigan and Ohio. Austin Cameron, Jordan Power, Trey Birchfield, and Noah Almanza. Players continuing their down and backs. Paula in the chat checking in for Ohio. What up, what up? Derek, welcome in. Maureen is excited. Three teams will battle it out here. Every game counts towards the record. Yep. Ten round limits. That's a big thing, though. Ten round limited. <laughs> he said we move the board. Trey just walks up and kicks it, and Jordan probably just starts laughing. <laughs> They're not moving anywhere on this turf. They're no. weighted down. They've no. pretty much got imprints in the turf where they're staying. For sure. See my guy Adrian Johnson over there rocking the white ringers jersey. I do like oh, that yeah. we're mixing up the colors this I year with the it. home look, and away jersey. They look great. That's what I was talking to, talking to Wally before we went live. I like, I, I, I'm loving these Marauders purple and black jerseys. I guess being a Ravens fan, I'm used to it. But, man, these, these look slick. All right, here we go. Bags have been spun. This is the first live round of the game. Let's Austin go. Cameron in the black jersey playing for Michigan. Trey Birchfield in the blue jersey for Ohio. Here we go. Looks like we have Rippers versus some sort of uh, Titan bag. It looks like maybe Talons. Is it the uh, Talon 2 point or the hot one? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that's the hot commodity now. I can't tell if that's his. I think it says 2.0 at the end of it. Ooh, that's a four spot for Birchfield to start things out. Four points in this round limited format is a haymaker. Yep. And Wally, I, I have heard whoever wins this series between Ohio and Michigan, uh, that will give the football team a seven point advantage when they play later this next season between Ohio State and Michigan. Mm. Fun facts. How many times? I never knew they played against each other. Rare. Rarities. 
If you're enjoying the content, hit the like button, hit the share button. Let's get a whole bunch of viewers in here, guys. We have a little challenge. I guess we're kind of off to a slow start on our challenge. We had a 1.6 million viewers in Ohio. Wow, do we really? Holy crap, I, don't know I would like to get over 2 million oh. viewers this weekend. It yeah. is a stacked field. Power had an opportunity to score, missed left, ends up giving up more points. And an early 6-0 start for Almanza, Birchfield, and the Aviators. This is Almanza and Birchfield's both second year as a member of the Ohio Aviators. Yeah, co-captains last year kind of went away from that format now to just uh, basically yep. keepers and one captain. Birchfield on a tear this season. Austin Cameron struggling to get started right now. See Jimmy Eumanns across the way in his Woodchucks jersey. They'll be on a little bit. Let's see what Birchfield goes after that. Oh, no, he misses it off the side. And now all of a sudden Austin can sneak in on that left side and get the Marauders on the board. Count it. Nicely done. That was a huge bag for him right there. If Birchfield's able to collect that and put four more on the board, I think it's pretty much over. But instead, there's life. Six to one. Jordan now with first toss. His first bag is in. Tommy Slyker in the chat. What up, man? Says them the Talon 2.0s. Okay. Love the slow drip. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, man, whenever I can become mm. a professional cornhole player, I want everyone in the crowd to yell bloop every time my bag goes in just to make my opponent so angry. Trey Birchfield, early storyline for you. Uh, Trey Birchfield on your right-hand side looking to do something that I don't know has ever been done in the uh, ACL Open Series, and that is win three consecutive Open doubles titles. He won it in San Diego with Hunter Thorne. He won in Mesa with Adam Hisner. And now looking to three-peat. I'm not sure. I assume he's playing with Adam again this weekend, right? I think so. I he believe was, so. He's on your list, I'm pretty sure. Took down the title in Myrtle Beach as well with Adam. Yep, yep. Already three open doubles titles this year. Some would say the robot is back. Oh, and, and there and, you go. Yeah, you're welcome, guys. You're there welcome. you go. Wow. Got some jinx right off the back of the board. Oh, and roll out a nice cut around by Austin Cameron. You know, you got to give credit to Austin. Every time the robot has given him an opportunity, he has taken advantage of it. Yep. Birchfield going up and hits the backside airmail to limit it to one. That was risky. I don't know if I would have taken the risk, to be honest with you. 6-2. Again, round limited format, running round six. Not impossible for power to collect that bag. Almanza baiting him. Oh, yeah. I like the back block. Here we go. Almanza could either cut around or shoot it. He's going roll. Ooh. It's not terrible, though. He yeah, didn't have the right speed on it. Power going up. Uh -oh. oh, worst case scenario, he pushed his bag out of the hole. I'm thinking a rodeo right here. Land short, mm. land on top of those bags. I like take them all at in. least pushing that pile up. He stepped out, went back in, nice. hits the air mill there. I guess I was smarter to go backside on this one and then try that rodeo on your fourth bag. Power going up. He lands way short. See, now I'm just sitting here going bored. I'm taking my three points. If I can go in around seven, up nine to two, you got to think at the most they get two points per round. That's game. We win. Nine, eight. I'm taking it. true. Yeah, ten round limited format here in the team's event. Dave says good news. We're never in the crowd. We'll have to go boop because Wally's never going to be a pro. Hater. <laughs> Dave Smith, you be. I'm gonna make sure you're the first one. You get front row tickets on me, bud. A timeout brought to you by Corn Nuts. What does Almanza do? He is going up way off the back. Only a couple. Only a couple. Yeah, I just like that crooked number. You know, three in this situation, making that uh, seven point lead. 
Absolutely. Because like I said, you want to look at the two points per round. For the way Robot's throwing, though, that's going to be hard for Austin. But still, there's opportunities. What's really going to be fun here in the next couple minutes is the sunlight that is coming through the uh, the windows here. That is so much fun. I'm You're right. I'm sure that is going to not cause a single problem for our cameras. Birchfield in with a 10. Cameron to go into Washington out, and he does. And now it's just a matter of running out of time if you're Jordan and Austin. Three rounds remain. You need to make up six points. I feel like if it's going to happen, it's going to happen down on this end. Jordan has to manufacture some points, and he's going to call a timeout. This is solely just to uh, ice Almanza. He's not really looking at anything here. Yeah, they think they might also be talking strategy on the other end because they need uh, to get Austin going against Birchfield. To be honest with you, Birchfield hasn't been as crisp as we've seen all season, but Austin always leaving a bag out to the left or the right, doesn't really put any pressure on Birchfield yet. Yeah. What up, Anthony? Brayden, Tim, welcome in, guys. What is power? Tries to block behind a little bit left. Almanza cuts... Sits behind. Yeah, Almanza's like, I'm perfectly fine with muddying this up. Let's go. <coughs> Austin wants him to leave one and then shoot the next two. Perfect. Right in Almanza's lane. Noah's, like you said, yep. just going to block behind. Doesn't need to do anything. Yeah, so Jordan's job now is to figure out a way to get that bag on the red zone in. Nice. He hits the first one. That one doesn't matter. The second one's the only one that matters. Almanza goes up. Almanza off the back. This is exactly what you need. You go in. You get three. Cuts the lead in half, and he gets it. And Jordan again, Power. No reason to even shoot that if you're Almanza. I, don't, I know nobody I don't, likes to think that way, but I know, I know. You gotta play the rounds. It's strategy involved. Cuts the lead in half, makes it eight five, and with two rounds remaining, three points is one hundred percent doable. And again, back out to the left a little bit from Cameron. Birchfield having no pressure this entire round, just going in. Oh, no. Worst case scenario for Austin Cameron needed to try to manufacture a miss. And now this is looking at a possible seven spot. Oh, my Make word. How nine. about nine? And that is going to do it. Austin just shaking his head. Can't believe Un what just happened. Unless Almanza if, throws you know, a zero. If he misses every bag, then it's po it's over. Oh, no, a bar of soap. Watch this. Bar of soap. Bar of soap. Nope. Now it's over. <laughs> wow. <Bird. laughs> Looking down, Almanza's like, it's fine. It's fine. All right, well. <laughs> Noah Almanza, got the roll. that was pretty cool. Noah Almanza, Trey Birchfield, and the Ohio Aviators are going to take a 1-0 series lead after a dominating performance from the two veterans. Yeah, round limited format, different than what most players are used to. So first chance to get a look at Austin Cameron. Not exactly what I expected. Definitely not what he expected. He will be back on the boards, but. Take our first break chat. We come back. More ACL Pro Teams action right after this.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Cornhole fans. Got some more ACL Pro Teams action. Michigan Marauders, Ohio Aviators. Both of these teams have TV experience from last season, but nothing compares to being on a live stream court with Wally and Jake on the microphone, sponsored by Bust You Up Cornhole and Beard Guys. I mean, you want to talk about the epitome of someone's cornhole career. This is it right here. In Tridelphia, West Virginia, Jake, this is what everyone who picks up a bag dreams of. Good Facts. call. Facts. Yeah, good Sorry. call. Thanks. Thanks, bud. I'll go ahead and uh, send you some more alley-oops and just continue to look the other yep. way. Hey, try it again. Try nope. it again. There's a warm-up. Warm-up. Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Cano reunited in the team's format with a trade from the Missouri Mays. Gavin lining up with Joe Neistead over here on the left-hand side. Fisher. On the right-hand side, lining up against Jeremy Schirmerhorn. I believe these are the first live bags of the game. Ohio with a 1-0 series lead. Wizard L's going against some Siva Matrix. And Jeremy Schirmerhorn sponsored by Siva this year. Ooh, that roll misses right for Gavin. Don't forget, after the third match, we have another set of teams. The Whoops. defending, the defending champion Pennsylvania Ringers will be doing battle against the New England Woodchucks. Gavin goes airmail way off the back. That was a round of cornhole. That was indeed a round of Cornell. A 7-4-3 for Jeremy Schirmerhorn. That's a good point. I feel like Gavin Cano would, would run the 100-yard dash pretty quick. I was talking to Gage about it. He said he doesn't know if he can do uh, 14 seconds, but he just knows you can't do under 20. I could I could 100% do under 20. Are you willing to bet on it? No. $100. Not money, no. I bet an, I, I bet an ice bath, though. Save it for tomorrow. Teaser. Teaser. Ah. Oh, no. See if Fisher can sneak in. He does. That's a big time four spot for Fisher Hamilton, and they are going to take the lead. It almost seems like Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Connell reunited after basically yeah. switching partners every single open right up to it, but he <laughs> said they wanted to get together and get ready for the pro season. Smart. <clears throat> What's up, Heather? We can see you. Heather Pierce. Hey, welcome in. Jimmy Shermerhorn teaming up with Anthony Mayball this year. Joe Neistead and Jordan Power teamed up. However, they elected not to throw together. And Gavin is way off on his air mails right now. Needs to find it if he wants to stay in this game. And then a missed roll. This is an air mail for, I believe, one. You know, these are some of the best four players in the entire league. And I'm just kind of surprised. They just all seem off. Well, I guess other yeah. than Fisher. They all just seem off Bang. so far. Nose down, airmail in the hole, it goes. And that is going to tie us up at four going into round number four. Look at that, a lot of fours on the scoreboard. And look at what time it is, 4.44. Oh, that was close though. Oh. It's hard to see on your guys' screen, but you know, Fisher Hamilton does have a top of his head. <laughs> yeah, when we adjust these cameras, we <laughs> always uh, we always forget to adjust to the fact that dudes like Fisher Hamilton are eight feet tall. Well, the problem is we use you as the model, and you're only five two. Oh, so whoa, we need to make sure whoa, that we whoa. need to make you sure dude, that we get somebody I'm taller. I'm not going to let you throw these trays out at me <laughs> on live on a live broadcast. I am five nine. I am the same exact height as you. No. Thank you very much. And we use Jasmine Prevetti as our model, who was 5'4". 5'5". 5'5". Same height as you. 
but I I am not going to allow you to slander me like that in front of the hundreds of people. You're built like that dodgeball in school. You know, the one that you throw, ping, you know, has that high-pitched ping you hit somebody with. All right, all right, all right. Wally's, uh, I've had enough of Wally for a little bit. <laughs> I love you, buddy. Good to be back. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a long weekend, <laughs> bud. <laughs> long one. weekend. You better, one vibes. better hope you want some help tearing Ooh. this stuff down on Sunday. The blocker can cut around. He can nice. nicely done there by Gavin. If you've looked away for a couple of seconds and have noticed a new scoreboard, shout out our guy Corey Russell. Look at how nice that scoreboard looks. It's got the names. It's got the team in the background. The oh, come on now. Pretty, pretty. Hit the thumbs up for Corey. Let's hear it for Corey Russell. Share, yeah, share the chat. Give it a like. Send him some stars. Don't actually. You can't do that. Sam Ship says definitely not more than 5'6". I'm telling you, Sam. I'm right there with you. Come on, Sam. It's a shame we're not sponsored by Grow You Up Cornhole and, and give you a couple extra inches there. Hey, dude, we're the same height. That's like... Like it, you can make fun of my height all, all you want, but we are literally the exact same height. This is false. It is crazy. Fisher is able to slide that one in, guaranteed two. Fisher and it is a locked in ten four lead for the Aviators. Round seven. Kano off to the right. This is the opportunity Neistead needs. Wow, Neistead needs. There you go. Yeah. Dustin, what's up, my guy? Appreciate that. Wally is the only reason I started watching this live stream. That's what I'm talking about right there, Dustin. Appreciate the compliment. Thank you very much, man. Hope you're enjoying your Friday. Got two more days left of this. Doubles action tomorrow. Singles on Sunday. We'll be back in a couple hours for minor league teams. I believe they have, what, four rounds of rounders into yep, bracket into a, play? Into a single elimination bracket, yeah. So yep. we'll, we'll go live right at the start of the bracket Yep. and play that out. I think Mesa, the time to beat in Mesa, we, uh, we got into the building at 7 a.m. We walked out around 12.30. So we, got it, we, got it, we have to beat that. 10-6, three rounds to go. Shermerhorn needs to manufacture some points. Going to be hard to do. Right now he's throwing a 9.33 against Fisher Hamilton's 11.33. Not sure if you know this, Jake, but 11s are hard to beat. They are, unless you throw a 12. Fisher looks to have lost weight. I think it's just his haircut. Really? He got he got a clean clean cut on the top of his head. Maybe he did lose some weight. I don't know. Seems to be the thing nowadays. Caleb Batson now Fisher. I guess I got to follow suit, huh? Jake, you can sue Wally now for defamation. What? I sure can. Shout out Pat Groff. Oh, he tried to cut around it. That would have been ridiculous. You know what's really cool about Pat Groff? All right, round number nine, 10-6 game. Neistat needs to score some points here. This is his last round that he will be throwing. A little off to the right. This could be an opportunity. I like that back block from Neistat. You know, one thing we saw early in the season last year, I believe, was Cheyenne Bubenheim and Frank Modlin taking on Gavin and Fisher. In round-limited format, they made some questionable decisions, not used to the round-limited format, but they did get plenty of TV time throughout the season. Let's see how they adjust here. First time getting a look at them for round-limited format in the 2024 season. Being up four points right now, don't have to really try and do anything too risky. This timeout's a good reminder that ACL Teams is brought to you by Corn Nuts. Get your crunch on. 
Jake, I don't know if you – I don't know where they shared the picture. If it was in Slack or Messenger or something, but did you see what Trey had? Oh, I, I saw what Trey had. Yeah. Oh, I see what Trey the had. Live feeds are going to be amazing. Oh, God. Nice Boom. backside airmail for Neistead. This is dangerous for Gavin. You have two bags on that right side. Big oh, roll. Perfect. That was important. The question is, does Neistead go slick side push, or does he go up again? He's going up again. Line drive, low. knocks one in, goes off. We're looking at 7-5 right now. In for one. Beautifully and done. It. Nicely done. Good rebound from this big shot. Cho Neistead with a huge backside airmail to keeps that bag in play. Next shot goes off the back of the board, so that's going to make it 11 to 6. And now, I mean, you're going to need Fisher Hamilton to do something he has not done, and that's miss. There's a start, and he needs to do that at least one more time. Do you try to block if you're Shermer Horn? I think, I think that was an attempt at a block, but it ends up going in. Fisher can throw a 10 and be perfectly okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I'll turn up the board mics when they're when they're playing. <laughs> Do you need so a block here. He said, "I tried that last time." <laughs> That's a canine block right there. Blocking myself from scoring in That's this round. Perfect <laughs> bag from Fisher. <laughs> Joe said, "You got to block here again." The problem is now you got to block it and then drag it back in your final shot somehow. And and knock Fisher off. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's it. In for the 10. Fisher dominated this game. Wow. I mean, you got to try something. I mean, it's, it's physically impossible. The worst Fisher can throw is a 9. The best Jeremy can throw is a 12. Something crazy. Hits the airmail drag to score, too, but that is all she wrote. Ohio takes a 2-0 series lead against the Michigan Marauders. We got one more match coming up. You're not going to want to miss it. Stay tuned.
Cornhole Nation, welcome back. It is time for game number three between the Michigan Marauders and the Ohio Aviators. Ohio looking for that clean sweep. Up 2-0 in this series. Sarah Cassidy and Quinn Reeves are going to look to stop them in their tracks. Going up against Ryan Tucker and Jeremiah Hector Wally. What do you think about this one? I'm a big Quinn Reeves fan. Sarah Cassidy on fire today, taking down women's. I think the Marauders are going to get this one. It's going to be a 2-1 aviator start to the season. Yep. Yeah, I'm not sure how true this rumor was, but I heard yeah. that the plan wasn't even to play Sarah Cassidy in the Pro Teams event until she had won women's singles. They realized how hot she was and hey. was like, hey, let's, let's put you on the court for Pro Teams. Hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. No, sir. What's up? What's up, Eric Davis? Saw Chucky Love warming up earlier. We kind of thought maybe he might play. Yeah, he's decked out in Marauder's gear. Part of me thought that he assumed he was going to play and <laughs> just now finding out that he's not. This is live. Give us one second with that scoreboard. I assume once they put the first round in, the scoreboard will update. Still says the last match. But yeah, you can see there at the bottom of the screen. Live feeds brought to you this weekend by Bust You Up Cornhole and Beard Guys. Make sure you check them out. BustYouUpCornhole.com. Use discount code WVA for 15% off. Damn, I was about to say, Eric, I thought we were going to have some problems. Eric called me Jack in the chat oh. before he changed it to Jake. I was like, what the hell, man? What this the heck? This is typo, man. Just typo. It's all good. Everything's fine. Sarah Cassidy, all too familiar with this broadcast court. Been on here a few times already, like we said. Zero, zero games still. I was pretty impressed with the season last year from Jeremiah Hector. I believe Ryan Tucker, if I'm not mistaken, was partnered up with Connor Weiss, correct? I possibly am not sure. I'm not I feel hurt. like that was true. He said that Connor absolutely killed it last season. He was kind of falling off. Ryan, I believe, was Corey Henderson's partner this season. Mm. So kind of getting a chance to get a closer look at Ryan Tucker this year. Well, I will say what, what it's a good thing that the uh, the scoreboard isn't working. Yeah. No, uh, no score yet through three rounds. Or two rounds, excuse me. We don't need zeros. Who needs them? We want numbers. Chandler says, J-Mo. J-Mo, I have learned the Too hard few. way is a dog. Check it for Quinn. Yeah, J-Mo is sneaky. Very, very underrated. Let's see what he does here. He's got a really nice reverse cut. Missed that a little bit to the left. Quinn, I like slick side. Throwing those sorcerers, not Wizard L, so he's backed a little faster than what he's used to. You can see him right now debating in he his doesn't, head. He doesn't know what to do. Stick slick. He looks very uncertain. He's staying sticky, and it ends up working in his favor. Yeah, my, my, my man's was struggling a little bit there with which side yeah, of the bag to throw. Yeah, no idea. <laughs> wow, wow what you a reverse talked cut. About it. You just talked about wow. it. Wow. Maybe I am good at my job. Who knows? You have an announcer jinx more than you've gotten right, my friend. Win in. It's another social. Nobody. Nobody's drinking. Cheers. Take a look at this reverse cut by J-Mo to grab his bag and leave Quinn's there. Bloop. Bloop. And there is a miss from Ryan Tucker. Could this get the needle moving? No. Maybe, maybe. How about no? How about no? <laughs> At this rate, we'll never see the new scoreboard. <laughs> well, we saw it once. Well, there's a scoreboard. I'm not good at my job, and I'm commentating for you. What? Uh oh. What? Who says this? Crazy. Who Eric, says words? Eric Davis. This guy. What? Let's see what Sarah does 
in for another wash. No, there's the first points of the game. Nope, never mind. Because Ryan threw a bag off the board that I didn't see. Still one other. It's fine. Still a point, though, in the other direction. Everything is fine. Everything is awesome. Is it true that you really challenged Eric Davis to a mini bags t contest for 50 bucks? Um, yeah, but he has to throw left-handed, and, and he can only throw two bags. Huh. That's just what I heard. Win down the middle. That bag is, I mean, it's probably as good as in. J-Mo sits on that left side and kind of pins it. Who's up next? We're having another best of three series between the defending pro teams champions, the Pennsylvania Ringers. And the New England Woodchucks. This could be a big shot here for Jeremiah. He is in he is. for three. You see right before that shot again, Quinn just not familiar enough with that nope. bag. Looked like he wanted to cut around it. And I think he talked himself out of it, shot the airmail. Without a doubt. Believe in yourself. It's a slick side block from Tucker, and it ends up working. Cassidy kicks right. Oh, Ryan gives it back. Sarah off the back of the board gives up three. Yeah, high release point there from her, a little bit to the left as well. Sends it sailing. Six to one, round number seven. Here's an opportunity for Quinn. That bag is pretty much out of play unless JMO does something spectacular. Get a roll attempt here. Possibly. Can he roll with these sorcerers? No, he lands too far up the board. Knocks in one of each. And that is a 10-10 wash. Three rounds remain. Still a very low scoring match, 6-1, already round eight. Kind of curious what the lineups would have been then. I guess Quinn would have thrown with Austin. Does Austin. That mean Cameron, does that mean Jordan would have thrown with Sarah? Or Chucky, I'm sorry, Chucky would have thrown with Jordan, I mean? Or? Maybe, I'm not sure. I don't know what it would have been. Yeah. I mean, Chucky likes throwing faster bags, so. Yeah. This is a big opportunity for Sarah to keep climb back into this one. Keep an eye on that bag. Let's see if it'll drip in. Does it's not move. Moving. Sneak in for four. Gets it done. Beautiful bag right there by Sarah Cassidy. Heading down to the final few rounds now. Two to go. This is the last round from Quinn and Jeremiah. Yeah, I think if you're Quinn right here, you don't even want to try and block. Ooh. You don't want to mess around with any rolls, Not cuts, anything. That miss right there. Instant nice. rubberneck. Turns oh, yeah. around, checks the score, knowing he is in trouble. 
one more bag for Quinn here to end on a high note. Not only would it be a four-bagger for him, it would be a lead change. J-Mo misses again to that left side. Oh, no, Quinn helps him out. And now if J-Mo can collect it, it goes from being four to being a wash. Oh, oh and, and they plug. Oh, man. And it goes. Oh, it <laughs> Slow and steady wins wow. the race, I said. I didn't think they were going to fall at all. And instead of it being a lead change for Quinn and Sarah, it ends up being a wash. And we go into the final round with it being a one-point game. I feel like we've seen this before. Sarah Cassidy was down huge to Miranda Coy in Ohio. Now taking on Ohio with a chance to come back in the final round to win it again. Now, if you're Sarah, are you blocking here or are you just going in and hoping Ryan misses? I mean, Ryan hasn't been exactly super clean the entire there it is. day. I'm there just it going is. in. Just like you said, four bagger wins it for Cassidy, pushes it Good out of the boy. way. All right. Still need some people to get checked in. We're going to get a timeout here. We need to figure out when we're shooting this airmail to go after this bag. I don't like shooting it. I mean, I'm not going now. It, the, here's the thing, though. There's no way you get that in one. There's no way you get that in one airmail. You're going to have to shoot it twice. Yeah, that's a good point. But then again, but if, if you if miss you, now, it's if over. If you miss and yeah. then she misses her next bag, you're just going to beat yourself up. Oh, man. Better him than me. That's all I know. Cool little graphic there by Corey with corn nuts raining. Shout out corn nuts. Could use some corn nuts right now. I've had. I've almost. I've had so many corn nuts with because <laughs> I was on the college tour, dude. He's go, man. They're just they're just so so good. He is going up now, and it's off the back. Just like you said, Cassidy is in, and that is it. One more chance at it. Hits the airmail. Does not drag it. Come from behind. Victory. Quinn Reeves and Sarah Cassidy avoid the sweep. Well, Congrats if she was a last-minute substitution, she did her job. Takes it down 2-1, to one, gets the point on the board. Hey, let's mix up the matchups when we come back. Done with the Marauders, done with the Aviators. Bring on the Woodchucks, bring on the champion ringers right after this.
ACL Nation, welcome back. There it is. You see it on the screen. The Pennsylvania Ringers, last year's ACL team's world champions, taking on the New England Woodchucks, which technically the champions from two years ago. Cheyenne Bubenheim's team, the Woodchucks, took it down. I mean, Trey Ryder claims the New England Woodchucks as the returning champs from last year, but I don't think that's right. I think it should follow I mean, the captain. It's a completely new team, yeah. I think the it should follow the captain. Were, were any players on the Woodchucks last year on the championship team from two years ago? That's a good question. Yeah. Let's go. Where's Trey Ryder? Get him in the chat. We'll figure that out. Where's our stat in the chat guy? Or, yeah. Stat in the chat. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> Cat in the hat. All right, here we go. Let's introduce the players. Throwing for the New England Woodchucks wearing the black and green jerseys. That is Zach Scheibner. His partner, Alec Ryan. Alec Ryan has an open doubles title this year with Ethan Walker. Moving over to the, to the other side, throwing uh, in the white and red jerseys. This is Austin Kippel. He is not a pro. He's an elite player out of Pennsylvania. Just got called up to compete this weekend. He will be throwing it back to Gage Landis, who won the championship for the Pennsylvania Ringers in the final round of game number seven at the World Championships. So a couple of interesting storylines going here. These bags are live. Shibby Scheibner. Not live. Oh, they're live. My bad. Oh, Gage yelling at, yelling at me. Slow your roll there, Jake Brannon. My bad. John says, where's my boy Tony Smith at? He is not on either one of these teams, so he won't be playing in pro teams. However, it uh, brings up a point I wanted to talk about in just a little bit, but since you started it, I'll get you there. Tony Smith and Alec Ryan off to a horrendous start in teams last year. I believe they lost their first seven. Wow, really? So if Alec Ryan can get the win here, we know it's all Tony Smith's fault. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I know Tony Smith's already got some dubs under his belt for this year. Let's see if Alec Ryan can do the same. Hey, man, sometimes good players just don't make great partners. That's true. And right, of course, we they were going against like some of the best teams on the other squads as well, but still. Alec, leave one hanging. Shibby says, give me ten. Austin might have thought he was talking to him there, so he misses. Sets himself up for 10. I had the unfortunate pleasure of playing Austin in a sit-and-go in between the uh, our broadcast this morning and now. That was not very fun. He threw a 10-2-5 against me. Keeping the streak alive of going 0-1 and, and sitting goes at open so far this season. I like that strategy. Consistency, that way you always hit your goal. Yeah, yeah. Gage thought he missed that third bag. Another cool storyline, these are pro doubles partners playing against each other right here. Zach Scheibner, Gage Landis. For now. And oh, nice Zach <laughs> Gage... Cuts around and picks up four. Again, man, sometimes you just throw the bag and then you got a Mario Kart it in. Do that little lean back. Yeah. How many of you guys in the chat do that little Mario Kart tilt? I do it all the time. Madeline wants to know where this is. We are in Tridelphia, West Virginia at the Highland Sports Complex. We're on the football field. Which Jake can run in 20 seconds. I can. Thank you for acknowledging that. Nice rollover from Alec. Nice push through. Kippel throws a 10 but gives up two points. Make it. Never mind. Dang it. My crystal ball is not working today. I think you're <laughs> I think you're like one for 10 right now. You're, I know, man. I'm you're just, not killing it. I'm so much better at it. Builds well for our bet that we're going to start making. Yeah, oh, shoot. So I'm getting all the bad mojo out now, so okay, I'm, clean, okay. I'm clean for tomorrow. You say so. 
Did you buy some sage? Uh-huh. <laughs> right, right next to my frankincense and myrrh. Mm -hmm. Got to get rid of all the bad juju in the hodel room. Good back block yep. from needed that. Shibby. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it or come hard through it. That no, is a clog waiting to happen if you go through it. Yeah, just shoot it. Hey, when in doubt, air it out. Going up. Oh, lands way short. Queen slot coming. Alex, Alex is trying to get in that corner on that right side. Mm -hmm. That was good. That was impressive. Big time coin slot coming. Oh, a little too hard. Ends in a watch. I was kind of worried about him going in and then a little domino effect happening, taking yeah. two of Gage's bags anyway, so that's not exactly terrible. Here's Trey. What was our stat question we had for Trey? Um, has anybody ever won three? No, that wasn't it. <laughs> what were we talking about? Oh, was anybody on the uh, Ringers oh, team yeah. that was on the Woodchucks team the year before? So do, do we have any two-time... Uh, ACL Pro Teams champions. Should be going to roll. No. Sup, yeah. Sup, Alia. Oh, Gage misses the block. This is a wide open lane for Shibner. Shibner. Going at it. Gets one and bounces over the hole. Unlucky break there. Why are the comments off? The comments aren't off. I can see them. I can see clearly now the comments there. Nice blocker from Alec. And it works. Kipple kicks off to the side. Alex putting himself here in good position to get a couple. Hunter Thorson in the chat. Go Chucks. Hey. What up, Hunter? Like good run, uh, or is it Mesa? Yeah. Oh, no. Kipple misses the block behind. This is a push for four. How about no? no. Eight to round eight. Why is it 22-23? No idea what you're saying. I don't see anything that says 22-23. Hmm. That roll does not get all the way over. Time out. Cool. Time out. One. This is a huge shot as what we're in round number eight. What are you doing here? I'm blocking. That's lame. I'm blocking this one. I'm shooting the fourth one no matter what. What? I want that hole clogged for Gage's third back. It should be shot right now, right? Yeah. Yeah, Gage has, in my opinion, a better role than Chibi. Let them fight amongst themselves when they go back and listen to this. But I think Gage has more pop on it. It's already kind of, you can see there, the corner of the bag's elevated a little bit. I I'm lifting, I'm taking away that. I'm landing this bag right on top of the Stevie. The only option for Gage to put a bag in the hole is going to be an air mail. And then, heck, I might even step out. Oh, he or I'm just going to hit a very clean backside air mail. Yeah. Oh, wow, big Gage. shot there from Shibby. Oh, he hits it too, but he drags Shibby's. I mean, you just hit the last one. It's, it's even more hole now than the one you just hit. 
One more time. Scheibner with two huge air mails. The only problem with that is now there is a lane here where he doesn't even hit the air mail. No. Only knocks in one, though. That's huge. That's a three spot. Big win there for Shibby. Let's take a look at this first one that he hit. Good backside air mail. Nicely done. Three-point game, 8-5. Whoops. I was like, oh, Jake is getting creative here. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right. No two-time winners, Trey says. How about that? Huh. No, the question was, were there anybody on the New England Woodchucks that were on the Woodchuck from the previous year? No. The question was, was there anybody on the Woodchucks team that was also on the Ringers team last year? Okay. Oh, Kipple cannot get the roll over, only gets two. Going in around number 10, last round of the game, Scheibner needs to manufacture a five spot to stay in it. Needs to hit this block. It's not bad, it's a level two block, a little so closer is, to the left side. That's an easy cut around, and now the block has been replaced. Hard tilt. Gets Beautiful it to go nicely over. done. If Gage throws a bag off the board, this could be interesting, but as it sits right now, yeah, we're looking at a 10-6. If Scheibner throws everything in, we're going to need a crazy bar of soap. <laughs> the only problem is he doesn't throw a flat enough bag to hit a bar of soap. Gage joking with Harbaugh off to the side there. He He's going to take a timeout. He said as soon as he threw that block, I knew I had it, I think. See, I think players overcomplicate things sometimes. They all have these trick shots, the cuts, the rolls. Being a two-dimensional player such as myself, it's so much easier. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, this is not an open board. That means I immediately go airmail. It's open enough. Love to hear that. Got to think of something crazy here. He's going up. Hits the airmail. Puts, I mean, Cage doesn't really have to do anything. He's on the board, yeah. And now Shibby has to do Blow one of the. it up. Blow it up. This would be up. the craziest shot. I got my finger ready. I've ever seen. I mean, you got to throw this everyone, hard. Everyone as say a, bye to the TikTok camera. Oh, he threw Whoopsie. it short, and that's it. Gage Landis, Austin Kippel give the Pennsylvania Ringers. A 1-0 series lead. And Congrats that solves the debate, whether it was Alec Ryan or Tony Smith. Alec Ryan loses again, my guy. <laughs> Come back and rebound next week. Yep. See, I see the captain, Jimmy Humans making his way to the court. Be back here in just a little bit for more ACL Pro Teams. Right after this.
Welcome back inside the Highland Sports Center here in Tridelphia, West Virginia as we continue coverage of pro teams. Game number two between the Pennsylvania Ringers and the New England Woodchucks. This is an interesting matchup to say the least. Jimmy Humans, Jacob Trzinski going to try to even up the series for the Woodchucks. Brady Foster, Justin Burton Jr. looking to stop them. So how about... Yeah, we got more partner-on-partner partner crime. Yeah. This time on different ends, yep, Jimmy yep. Humans, Brady Foster, pro doubles partners this year. They're going to do one more down and back. So this gives Wally an opportunity to talk about stuff. Yeah, absolutely, man. I'm here to talk about stuff, and stuff is exactly what Jimmy Human's shorts has all over it. Lots and lots of stuff. And those are loud. I could read it for a An long hour. time and not yeah. read the same word, apparently. They stand out, though. That they do. Never would have thought I would see uh, Humans and Trzinski and talk about Humans shorts instead of Trzinski's. Yeah, right. Uh, Trzinski just wearing basic slides, yeah. sweatpants. G gone away from the leg tat reveal. Yeah. Well, that's a little chilly out here. Tis chilly. Tis chilly. Be stupid to wear shorts out in this weather. It's in the 60s. It's not, it ain't that bad. Come on. I always wear shorts. It's messing with you, dude. Calm down, dude. Calm down. Jeez. Athena Delgado in the chat. Oh, Athena looks so beautiful today. <laughs> Father versus son, Jimmy versus Brady. Row, row, row. Interesting to see uh, Burton Jr. not throwing with Harbaugh in teams. Yeah, mixing it up a little bit. We'll see Harbaugh next, but not throwing with his uh, his usual partner. If I'm not mistaken, aren't they? Throwing together tomorrow? You would not be mistaken. They are throwing together tomorrow. Here That's we go. That's going to be interesting. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. It will be. Interesting. Tomorrow. All right. Back here. First bags of the game. Brady Foster on your left throwing the white wizard L's from BG Cornhole. Jacob Trzinski on your left throwing the gray rippers by AAR and a side rail. And all Trzinski can do is laugh. Last time we saw Jacob Trzinski on the live stream court, uh, he had one of the greatest shots of all time hit against him. And Tony Smith did him dirty in Mesa, Arizona a couple weekends ago. And that is a big round for Brady Foster. How about... Seven to start things off. Hey, Maker. <laughs> I hope this ain't live. Yeah, well, <laughs> unfortunate. Frog City said just scored some new rippers. There you go. The AAR Ripper is one of the hottest bags this year. Cannot wait to do the collab with them. I'd like to get my hands on some. Oh, man, Jimmy with a bag left and a bag right. Uh, eight in a row to start for Brady and Justin Burton Jr. and an 11-0 start. Definitely uh, not, not where I saw this one going. Not what I have predicted. Oh, instant yawn, instant like reply yawn for me. Yep. <laughs> it just did not take a second for me to react. Oh, man. Haley wants to know if predicarid is English. I'm pretty sure it is. Predicarid, yeah. Yeah, it 100% is. You just need to, you know, look it up. I saw it on my uh, Webster's Dictionary yep. calendar. It was like a word of the day thing. Yeah, you know what I mean? Buy a thesaurus. Yeah, buy a, buy a, <laughs> buy a thesaurus. It's my... But the source is personally my favorite dinosaur. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Word. <laughs> it was actually uh, Sim Simlish. Is that the the Sims language, Haley? That's what it was. Sims. What was that? The Sims, like the video game, The Sims. It's so it's <laughs> after your time there, <laughs> Wally. Oh wow! There you go. Nice cut around. That's how you forget about the seven spot you gave up. How about scoring six? 
Wally is showing his age. Dang right. Back block from Jimmy. Oh, nice, nice push through. Look at that scoreboard. Scoreboard. That's a two spot climbing back into it. Take a look at this shot from Jimmy Humans one more time. Picture perfect. Ohio did sweep them. No, they did not. No, Michigan won the third game. Excuse me. Sorry. Krasinski gives up another bag. See if Brady can take advantage. Good thing the sun went away on this right side, otherwise Foster and Krasinski would be in trouble. <laughs> yeah. That is one hundred percent true. Stu, honestly, all four of them would be in trouble. <laughs> Thirteen to eight. Round number six. See if Trzinski can, I mean, uh, excuse me, humans rather can grab a couple more, and then we're looking at another big round, hopefully, from Trzinski. Haley says, I always forgot these are rounds like it did. Yep, exactly. Go back to reading your thesaurus. Yeah, come on. It's always great when somebody calls you out. It's like whenever somebody types in the chat. You're stupid, and they misspell the word your. Yep, oh, hey, uh, I'll, I'll make fun <laughs> of him so quickly. Thanks, Haley. Wow, nice get around from Justin Burton Jr. Humans going after it. No, gives up two more. 15 8. Jamie Graham's in the chat, in the My TikTok dude. chat. Another bag off to the side. I haven't really had a chance to watch Tanner and Jake Trzinski. Those are two players I want to keep my eye on this pro season. Yeah, that's definitely a unique pairing. Not something that I would have uh, assumed. Well, I guess I, I low key kind of like Trzinski and Almanza's pairing. Yeah, um, I've seen them a couple times. Yeah. Foster sneaks in. We're gonna make him clap, Wally. Do it, do it. He's gonna go up for this airmail. If you miss, you lose. Oh, it sits on the back lip, and that's it. That's a six spot, and Brady Foster and Justin Burton Jr. take down the New England boys. Done in seven rounds, 21 to eight. We come back the final match of the evening. More ACL Pro Teams action right after this.
the timer's down to zero. You know what that means? We always come back right away. ACL Nation Cornhole fans, ACL Pro Teams concludes right here at the Highland Sports Complex in Tridelphia, West Virginia. Live feeds brought to you this weekend by Beard Guys and Bust You Up Cornhole. Use discount code WVA for 15% off at bustyouupcornhole.com. Tyler Cobb, Colin Hodet, Devin Harbaugh, Adrian, Mr. TikTok Johnson, making his way to the court for the final match of the evening for ACL Pro Teams. We'll be back in a few hours with minor league teams. But can the defending world champions sweep? It'll be a good up. start to defending their title if they can go undefeated here. Shout out to Colin Hodet. Yeah. Kid from the New England area. Just got called up today. Doesn't even have a team jersey and gets robbed with a three wide plug. And a 6 0 start for Harbaugh and the Ringers. Here is the man, Adrian Johnson, one of the most viral cornholers of all time. My man's pushing the millions of views. Are we going to see a to the moon in this game? To the moon. My bag went to the moon off the back. Oh, no. <laughs> that was good. To the, to the moon off the back. Another one. He threw two off the back. Whoa. Tyler can... Pick up three. Oh, my word. Two bags off the back, and Adrian Johnson scores a point. That is just how he scripted it up. Can't smell moon without two O's. That's a, yeah. How do you get out of that round scoring? Come on, Tyler. You're on my players to watch list. So is his other two brothers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put them all on there. A little side by side here. Damn, our boss cooking with these gladiator king cheetahs. King cheetahs are a good bag, man. A lot, great of people, bag. a lot of people don't like them because of the different shape. Colin going to take a timeout, see what we're working with down here. I always say don't knock it till you tried it. It's like lamb and tuna fish, you know? Good comms, good comms. What do you do here, Wally? What did you say? Did I miss something? I'm, I'm reading the TikTok chat. It's <laughs> <laughs> twice. Lamb and tuna fish, question mark? <laughs> you really didn't hear me say that? No, what did you say? Oh, my gosh. Well, you want me to say spaghetti and meatballs? It's a big daddy reference. Adam I don't know. Sandler. I don't know what Wally said either, Haley. So it was a big daddy reference. You ever seen Adam Sandler's movie Big Daddy? I'm gonna have. It's been a while. Nice get around from Johnson right there. Tyler Cobb gonna try to cut around it. He does, but he takes in Adrian's bag. Nice rollover from TC. I gotta forget that you and Haley are Teletubby watchers, and you guys are part of my generation of excellent movie writing. Dude, the Teletubbies is a top ten children's show of all time. Yes. Teletubbies and the Wiggles; those are my two go-to. That's where it all went downhill. What? Ten to nothing here. Five rounds in. This is another surpriser. Pennsylvania well on their way to an undefeated start to the season. Good back block there from Colin. Looking to go back to back. Carball's even got the tilt working with the Gladiators. Look at that. Oh, come on. Shout out to Mish, by the way, with the uh, Cornhole Academy. Harbaugh's going to be one of those mentors yeah, in there as fun well. To, fun to watch. I, for one, am going to sign up whenever I get home in front of my computer. 
Bang! Clean airmail for Harbaugh. <laughs> Tiffany Fincham screaming. I didn't know what that there. was, man. I thought somebody stepped on a dog or something just out of nowhere. <laughs> another, to, another timeout for Colin Odette. Good backside hit with a little fist pump from Harbaugh. Ten nothing start, and we got some work to do here. Um, basically, what you got to do is, uh, yeah, just give up the points. Yeah, <laughs> give up the points. <laughs> give up the points. I don't even throw this bag. We got plenty of time. <laughs> got plenty of time. Collins says, "Yeah, walking down like I know your line. We are running out of time." It is round limited format, Tyler. Did you not get the memo? We're in trouble. Oh! I thought he hit it for a second. It ends up rimming out. He gives up five. 15 nil. Great attempt. No reward. How about this? The Ringers defending their championship with style, man. Picking up exactly where they left off, trying to run it back this season. Oh, yeah. Talked to Harbaugh sure. before this. He said, I think we're stronger than we were last year. I said, even without Jacob Foreman? He said, well, I'm missing, but, yeah, I think we are. So I'm like, wow, okay. I'll be watching and rooting on my Florida Free still. But let's go. So you're a regional guy. You still on the Cutters squad? Because, I mean, you could – Hop over to the ringers now if you I want know, to since I mean, Adrian's here. I, I technically am closer to the state of Pennsylvania than I am the state of Virginia. So Man, Look how easy it was to get him wow. a jump ship, chat. I never said I would. To the moon, Nancy <laughs> says. I, I will say it is hard being a Virginia Cutters fan. It is hard. You guys got a little hope at the beginning of the draft. I'm not sure they're all the way there yet, though, as far as their team goes. Yeah, no, I don't know. It may, t it may, it may take another season. Nice cut around. That bag looks like it may fall back. 19 nothing. I think he turned the bag over. Is he going for the collect? No. Whoa. Interesting strategy. I don't like it. Hard tilt ends up being a nice block. <laughs> I think he was trying to cut around and collect, but that might work out better for him. Harbaugh goes. He's going to try to cut around it. Wow. He can do that with any bag. That's more impressive than doing that with a pro sniper. Hodette going up and hits the drag to pick up three and get themselves on the board. Put it on the board. Yes. Big hit, Colin Hodet. 19 to 3, putting themselves exactly where they want to be in round number eight. Down 16 with confidence behind them, and he misses his first bag. Yeah, four bagger will win it now for Adrian Johnson, no matter what. That blue bag is out of play. And, you know, just for fun, Tyler Cobb decides to do it again. I can hear Adrian now. Right now I know we got this game in hand. Hit him with the block. Guarantee myself the two points. We already got the game in hand. Round number eight. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to the boom, to the moon. To the moon. Style. <laughs> <laughs> to the moon. Come on, somebody in the chat yell it. You feel? Now he decides to lay behind. You know, I could have gone to the moon, but nah, I'm going to hit him with the penguin for the win. Here Come we on. go, to the moon for uh, the win. To the moon for the win. Away. Oh, oh just a little short. He had it. He had it lined up. We teed up the script. We could, well, we could not <laughs> have put that ball on a tee any better than that. Oh, man, Adrian. You Come on, Adrian. You had Come one on, Adrian. job. We did ours. <laughs> 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 we had it. <laughs> He said it. Got you next time. In, insert the record scratch sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> Colin off to the right a little bit. That one could be out of play. Hardball with a block. Not where he wants it. Bang. Wow. He Not said out, out of play. play. Who do you I know? liar. This game's stupid. I'm just here to watch. Commentating this uh -oh. is hard. Colin just absolutely working hardball here. He has him in control the entire game. Oh, never mind. There's that jinx again. We have not been good with the <laughs> no, jinx today, off. man. Hey, man, we only had four hours of sleep. Nice push. 
Collin only gets one, and that will make it mathematically impossible for them to win this game. Yeah, here's another look at that shot that was impossible to collect. <laughs> Good hit there from Collin. Yeah. For those of you who are new at Cornhole, the most amount of points you can score in a round is 12. 19 minus 5 is what, Wally? 37. There you go. So it is impossible to score 37 points in one round. So they're just going to shoot some air mails. To the moon. To the moon. He's, he's too afraid to shoot an airmail now. Now he's too afraid. Tyler ain't afraid. To the moon. There it is. There it is. <laughs> All right. Well, wow, what a dominating effort by the Pennsylvania Ringers. They clean sweep the New England Woodchucks. And we are all done for a little bit. Just a Man, little bit. Love the crowd. Love the environment for teams. I'm all about it. Let's keep it rolling. We're going to head to a quick break, grab some Din Din. We'll be back with minor league teams in just a little bit, guys. But if you're enjoying the content, do us a favor. Show some love that show the, yep, show some love yep. to the people that show love to us. Check out BustYouUpCornhole.com. Use discount code WVA for 15% off if you're enjoying the content. Jake, K9, out. See you guys in a few. Peace.